Good evening everyone, System Chalk here with the 133rd episode of Book of Hours, playing as the artist, our first run through YouTube. Uh, and I will do a little bit of housekeeping at the start. One, because there's sort of a time-sensitive bit of information that I think people will be interested in. And then uh, it is the Easter long weekend, so I'm recording these on the weekend like I normally am. Um, but I'll, I'll just kind of anticipate possible shifts. Um, when I do the live streams, the thing that I try to do to stop burnout um, has been to uh, basically take the holidays off. So there's the problem where basically because I had a broadcast going on, holidays didn't feel like holidays. So that's worked well for me, um, but it does create a small problem with YouTube because YouTube I keep a fairly regular cadence of the videos and then I just give myself a break in between. Um, so what I might do is I wanted to make sure that today's episode was recorded uh, and then I may uh, I may just break up the recording so that I can I, don't know, I can relax uh, I actually got quite a bit done yesterday but um, with that in mind the videos may be a little bit disjointed and I like to try and telegraph where there may be interruptions so if you notice that there is a problem in terms of the releases this week it may be because I ran out of time to catch up on the videos but I am going to still try and do a full week now, the one that's more uh, potentially more interesting to a number of you, uh, the company that makes this game, Weather Factory, uh, doesn't just do video games. Um, in fact, like Book of Hours is the second one by this specific company. The people behind it have made other games. But um, one big thing that they've done is expanded into merch, uh, and it's usually quite popular. So... They, I think, started with a few simple things. There was a notebook, there's a, um, a tarot of the art, like a tarot deck, uh, but there's now regular playing cards, there's stickers, there's posters and, and such. And uh, now a necklace. And um, the notebooks are finally back. They've made a new set of notebooks. But in any case, apparently they're going to be moving offices. So for a while, I'm not quite sure exactly how long the sale is going on, but a lot of the items, not not everything, but a lot of the items are 40% off, including the new uh, coloring book that they did, which surprised me a little bit. Because there are a few items there which are, um, are not discounted because they're brand new. I mean, essentially, they announced the notebooks and you're not going to, you know, you're not going to do a 40% discount on something that you just announced. I think the idea of a 40% discount is to keep, you know, keep the... Um, the amount of stuff that you need to move between offices quite low. So anyways, um, I don't mean to sound sort of like this complete, you know, marketing session for, for Weather Factory. I think a lot of you have decided whether or not you enjoy watching the game or playing the game and how far you'd want to go. But I believe, uh, I think the lady afterwards, which is their tabletop experience, uh, was discounted on it. Um, the uh, books, the collection of essays, as well as the game uh, design book. There's a lot of good stuff there. I have actually quite a bit of it in my apartment at this point. So I wanted to let a few people know just because it's... I don't really think they have done a sale quite like this on that store yet. So I hope that a few of you will find something that maybe you were uh, holding back on. All right. So let's figure out where we were. I've got a few options available to me, and honestly, I don't remember all that well what I was trying to do. So we're close to the end of the day, unless there is a big... I thought there was a grail thing available to me, um, but maybe we already dealt with that. Um, I seem to recall we had a few... a few books that I could read as well. Um, that's just to refresh the timers to see. Okay, so we're doing something at the Sweet Bones. We don't seem to be making anything at any of the other slots. I seem to have a fairly, yeah, I seem to be fairly confident that we would be able to open up the wintry forbidding. So that'll probably be Reverend Timothy that we do that with. Um, right, so I seem to recall, I do remember a few things I talked about. So for instance, we're getting quite a bit of a, uh, an IOU list in terms of opening up all of the packages. 
And then, of course, I have a very large number of texts that are, are within my ability to read. I just haven't really gotten around to them. So we're fairly early on in spring. I think the one thing I was talking about... Sorry, summer, not spring. Uh, the one thing that was potentially... Why did I put... Matthias and the Amethyst Imago. I guess it's because I didn't remember what skill it gave me. Um, that's fine, I can read that again uh, at a separate time. Uh, okay, so basically, uh, the one thing that I haven't really been doing that I've wanted is I think I wanted to pick up some Fragrant Chalice. Uh, the big thing about summer was the barber. So the barber would give me moth or rose. Now the rose, you know, at, at this point, the rose that I need from assistance isn't, it, there's just too much that they need. So we, um, or well, okay. I'll, I know I did this earlier, so I won't go into too much detail on it. But as a quick sketch, we have the barber, which starts with one rose. We've got the globe, which gives us one rose. And I don't believe, um, uh, where were we? There's the jam, but I don't recall. Oh yeah, actually I seem to remember there was a drink. So assuming I wanted to give up the jam. And then I suppose it's the Ross Kragen whiskey that gives me the, uh, yeah. So that brings us up to six. And then where we can go after that is um, the fat, which would bring us up to, okay, so that's one, two, four, six, eight. Yeah, okay. So I'm remembering where where we were going now. So the drawback here basically is is that what we need is 13. So, you know, sometimes I don't... Like this, I, in the end, my explanations wind up expanding this uh, longer than they need to anyway. But at this point here, notice that this time around I did something different than the memories, right? So the memory, the question of that one would be like, is there is there an easy-to-access high-level rose memory? And... The, the, the easy to access ones are basically, can I get it out of a book? Is there some consistent way that basically I turn an element of the soul into, uh, into rose? And there's, the tricky part about this is that there's sort of technically a way, by that definition, technically, yes, there is a higher level one, but in the end to sort of reset it, there's a few other things that need to be done. So you use an element of the soul and then you need to feed it again. Uh, and some of you may remember the item that we were working with. And the drawback at this at this point is, is that um, even if I have that, it doesn't really matter. Um, because if we're at 8, then that will only take me up to 12. So it's a whole bunch of effort that still doesn't get me the thing that I need. And that's after giving up a couple of things that I'm reluctant to give up, which would be the... Um, the rose hip jam and the whiskey, uh, and the reason I'm reluctant to give those up are that, you know, I'm I'm probably going to encounter other higher level rose challenges. So basically, here, if I compare, if I were to have a book which gives me the five rows, like some of the other, some of the other, uh, um, some of the other, uh, uh, sorry aspects, powers, it's always hard with uh, the presence of things like moon and rose now. But um, basically, if I had something kind of equivalent to the knock memory that we get, well, that's that's a pretty easy call to make. But when it comes down to trying to get rose, the only reason why I would be doing that would be because currently in this season, I've got the barber, the barber gives me one extra rose that I would, you know, that I would have available that I wouldn't have in other seasons. And in the end, I just have other ways of getting to these places. So um, this is sort of the reason why I wouldn't worry too much about something like the, um, 
like the barber at this point. So having made that decision, again, I don't want to I don't want to relitigate every choice that I make um, previous in the playthrough. But this is usually a good indication to me that probably what I should be doing is directing my attention towards other tasks. Uh, and again, I notice I don't want to be too mean to the people who say soft lock, but I do notice that in um, I do notice in the Reddit people love using that term. I guess it's maybe it just makes you sound you know like you you know more about games uh, if you if you use specialized terms. I'm not quite sure what um, what spawns that, but basically. What, what is actually being communicated most of the time is, I'm stuck and I don't know where to go. But of course, it's, you know, it's not a statement of you not figuring out the game if you say that. It's, you know, oh, the, the game's broken. You know, I couldn't progress, so obviously the game's not working properly. Um, and of course, to me, the usual indicator for that is, I just need to be doing something different. Um, and again, like I said, that's probably mean to the people asking it. I, I like that people are playing the game, and I like that they're engaging with other people, but I always do find it a little irritating when uh, people are, you know, saying that the game... Like, I don't know, I just kind of feel like if somebody's sitting down and making a game about exploring a house like this, they're going to figure out, you know, where... They're going to make sure that all of the different paths are available. And I know some of you know that I've done that big network graph. You can actually... Um, trace out whether or like all of the paths that you can take inside of games like this that's not exactly what that chart does but you know it's it's not like this is you know people are suddenly discovering the and there are mistakes that have been have been found um but uh, that's what the beta was all about and things that survive from the beta um but the idea that um there's sort of this full product that people are paying for that has, oops, I only played it as the magnate. <laughs> Sorry, guys, you can't actually complete the games as the other ones. I feel that that's a little, a little, um, I feel that Weather Factory is, is a bit more of a conscientious developer and, um, and better designer than, uh, or better designers than, um, you know, than, than what would be implied by the, the soft lock claims. Anyways, to me, Whenever I get stuck on something or whenever it's feeling unusually difficult to try and do something, like let's say get to a 13 rows, you that to me is sort of the indication that what you want to do is, um, you know, start reading some books or maybe think about the different things that you can craft. You'll notice it's actually been a while since we've gone back to crafting. I kind of do these things in waves and partly this isn't the most in character way to play the game, but... Um, very often what will happen is I'll find something useful that I can make out of a skill and then I'll sort of stick to that and then the the recipes will be something that I do later. Now, this is partially coming from the fact that I've now completed the game, so I have a rough idea about what items that I need. But, um, but yeah, usually what I'll be doing is um, books are easy and fairly... Like, it's it, it's pretty easy to quantify what you can do with them. Uh, and now you can even quantify what you will get from them. Whereas if there's, um, you know, a recipe that you're trying to create, um, if you haven't used it before, well, then you're, you know, you have to, um, you, have, you have a guess um, and it may, may not be clear in terms of where it's going. So usually I'll do books, <coughs> excuse me, and then from there I'll usually try something like the, um, I'll try something like the... Uh, you know, the recipes to see if I can get something that pushes me up to that higher level with a, with an assistant. Anyways, sorry, I've taken like half the time to chat and I like chatting with you, but I know uh, some of you also want to see the game progress. So if I could, uh, it would be nice to work towards getting another sacrament asset for Reverend Timothy. I am currently restoring my Faust. There it is and can be no tizzer. Mrs. Kill, as every local gossip knows, came from France to marry Mr. Kill, but there's scant trace of the continent in her accent now. At this point, I'm really just farming for... Um, I'm really just farming for memories. So what I'll see is maybe if I can somehow make a glass finger toxin, uh, I'll use the Foss for that. And if I can't make a glass finger toxin, we'll use the Foss to make a bit of money. All right. So, my best bet with the glass finger. Um, if I want to do it at a desk, then it would be Collar's desk. 
Let's see if we can do something with the Watchman. We'll need a liquid of some kind, but we do have some water. Now, Inks of Revelation might... no. Oh, that's right. I was also going to make some Ugal. Um, I don't really think I have what it takes for the Ugal, though. Uh, rural? I remember there was an unexpected one. And I know the Glassfinger Toxin is a knock recipe. But I'm convinced there was a... All right, well, let's go, let's go take a look at the old ways then. Now that's a problem. Uh, crumbs. What am I going to do with that? This might be a shorter investigation than I thought. Um... We do have sky, so I think probably the uh, solar altar might give me something there. I just don't think this wasn't it. Hmm, Iker Vitreus, but not... Okay, um... Well, you know what? I don't need to make... I don't need to make this my life's work. Let's, um, let's just uh, do the help with letters. And then we'll worry about our ingredients tomorrow. So I could offer help with correspondence and arithmetic. There is no school in Brand Krug, and not everyone here knows their letters. Um, I think I'm going to hold off on using Reverend Timothy to open up the Wintry Forbidding. It certainly, I would like to have this sooner rather than later, but I also don't feel, uh, I don't feel a particular need to, um, like to get this thing opened up right away. Um, so let's say tomorrow is going to be focused on getting some of the gardening that I want done. We'll definitely read a book or two. And uh, I will also take... I'll start making the ingredients for glass finger toxin. And then any remaining elements of the soul will put towards... Um, I think I'll put them towards opening up those packages. Night has fallen, dawn will come soon. So I get to pick one of these to take overnight. An afternoon spent profitably reading newspapers to the curious, writing affectionate letters for the lonely, steering farmers through the requirements of the Ministry of Agriculture. Okay, what do I want to keep in the Violet Chamber? I should make a choice sooner rather than later. So in terms of things that I'm missing right now, I would, for instance, it would be great for me to have one of the Newman. I think probably the Knock one, which would be Inescapable Confinement. That would be one that I want to follow up on uh, because we'll give that to Reverend Timothy. Um, I don't think it would be bad to have someone to generate memories. So we'll probably take one of the Arab and put that towards Mrs. Kill. Uh, and the idea for that is that memories are, so they'll either augment the re recipes that you want, but they'll also sometimes be a requirement in terms of the ingredients that you want to make. So we will chat with Mrs. Kill. Mrs. Kill's mood always improves when I drop by. Mrs. Kill stands ready to help. You always cheer me up, she says morosely. Okay, so let's get to work on that glass finger toxin. And one one thing I want to do is just make sure... Okay, so it just needs 10 knock and a liquid. So the question is, do I have a sneaky way of getting a little extra knock in here without having to give up something big? So for instance, I could throw the sea... Oh no, sorry, the sea holly doesn't have knock. It's the moth, uh, moth orchid. Now moth orchid is two knock, so that's a little, a little too much. Surely there is another... I think I went through this previously and I used the... Um, 
Oh, that's interesting. Desiccated witch worms. Now, they don't count as a liquid, though, so it's a little... A little more than I'd want to give up. But honestly, I'm not going to feel bad to, if I get rid of the witch worms. Uh, probably my best option out of what I have. Okay. Um, please tell me I'm making the right item. We are. Brew a bright and lethal knock toxin. Okay. Um, from there... Let's get the Fragrant Chalice. Fragrant Chalice in Summer and Autumn. Okay, so actually there isn't quite the same urgency for Fragrant Chalice um, as I thought. I'll still go for it, though. I think I'll save the... Yeah, we'll save the History Plant for another time. Trying to decide whether or not I want to give up the aisle water right now or not. I don't think I have the same need. Oh, you know what? The amethyst ampule would have been a good uh, would have been a good input for the glass finger toxin. I'll remember that next time because amethyst ampules are also pretty straightforward to make. Okay, um, so I guess we're doing the gardening that I wanted now. What might have been a little smarter for me to do would be to focus on the books that I wanted to read because we do. That core is now not available for those who do not sleep. So let's go... Let's actually take a minute to catalog what I'm capable of. So for instance, we've got the Kukerbit prisoner records, but I'm willing to guess here that I'm still coming up short on uh, the scale I need to get this thing read. Wow. Four scale, huh? Okay. Okay. One coming from uh, the health, so that's five. And then in theory I could throw the earth sign in. Um, or if we got lucky... I'm trying to remember if it's scale for inescapable confinement. I think it is. Um, that would take me up to ten. Excuse me. And at that point, I could use the um, the glass, the serpent-styled glass, to get me to 11, but I'd still need one more. Um, okay, so here's going to be a slightly different way for me to think about scale. So does this, this gives me hill and hollow, which would only bring me up to four scale again. Now again. If I want, I can just apply that to Coil and Chasm or Inks of Power, but that's not really how I do it. Transformations and Liberations is my best forge, so the Burning Woman would potentially open up access to all of these other ones for me. Okay, so we're at effectively 14 in both of these cases. We've already gone over forge a couple of times. Um, it's not one that we... It's not one that we're guaranteed, so probably what I want to do here is focus on Kanishk at the Spider's Door, the Morphe Codex, or those who do not sleep. Uh, those who do not sleep is probably the least likely out of what I can read right now. Um, so I think my best bet... Um, Tridesma Hyra requires the least work. That or I just read both. This would give me five. I uh, don't know if I really want to give up Edicts Marshall. There you go. Right, I can master this mystery, enough moon to match mystery moon. Yeah, 
Kanesh get the spider's door is going to be a little bit harder because of the skills that I want to throw at this. So, for instance, Edict's Marshal is not going to work here. Although, let's see, Desires and Dissolutions I can find a different desk for. So Ava's desk is already used up. Or not used up, but currently in use. Um, this would not let me use Fet. I think I keep un uh, overestimating how many moon desks there are. Although I think if I use Sickle and Eclipse with Fet, then we can read the account. Okay, yeah, I can master this mystery. Now, uh, realistically, I'm going to want to keep some elements of the soul aside, uh, aside so that I can level these things up. Um, but this is the sort of thing that can also be handled by an appropriate use of the sweet bones. So, uh, we're probably not going to wind up using the metal today. So, fixing and mending, there's not much work on offer in Brand Crude, but I can find sixpence worth of odd jobs. From there, uh, let's say... So the Arab can actually be used to level up Trades Mahira. Or the Sickle and Eclipse, for that matter. Um, so the metal is actually the one that I would have used to level up uh, Sickle and Eclipse. Okay, you know what, that's fine, because we'll definitely be restoring the metal. So for the remainder, uh, we are going to consider some packages and open, uh, open them. So what's the best way for me to do this? I think probably just uh, start with what I assume was the first room that I opened and started ignoring packages from. And we'll do our best. Okay. A box of oddities. A tiny treasury of forgotten things. Perhaps there's a real oddity in here somewhere. It does feel a little odd to have so many items hanging around. I could try the beehive. Um, bees, like librarians, are not to be trifled with. And if I wanted... Oh, Moth Orchid actually isn't a bad one to have either, so I think I'm going to use my health for the rights of the roots. I also forgot, uh, I did say that I wanted... Um, I did say that I wanted um, inescapable confinement, so let's get ourselves a Newman. I've already mastered this, but I could reread it and recall a memory. Okay, Mrs. Kill, as somber as autumn, as kind as autumn, she also likes her beer. So again, all of this is more in prep for Reverend Timothy rather than, um, you know, rather than kind of pushing any particular outcome. I carried a memory like a flambeau safe through the mazes of night. So if I want to do something with a high power of sky that is available to me between the sunny, the storm, and the fast. The problem here, of course, is I don't really have that much in terms of sky needs at the moment. Um, so we're just going to... But today, it's kind of taking it easy, a little bit like a long weekend for me, honestly. Um, we'll maybe prep a couple of things. Like I said, we're getting the glass finger toxin, which will eventually turn into a sacrament assite. But um, from there, there it is in Camino Tizer. Mrs. Kill, as every local gossip knows, came from France to marry Mr. Kill, but there's scant trace of the continent in her accent now. Um, probably the most activity will come at the end of the day where I try to level up certain skills and perhaps... Um, if we get something fun in the in the different packages, I might change my path. As I used to say in my youth, the day is done and so am I, but I've earned my pay. Okay, so we still want to restore the elements of the soul. It is summer. I'm sitting on the bench outside the sweet bones, eating crumbly cheese and nettle wrappings and good black rye bread, soaking up the sun. And our first box, crack open the container, delight in your discovery. Bitter black salts, bitter as chicory, dark as secrets, but the first rung on the traditional alchemical ascent. So I don't think we actually have bitter black salts in the... Oh, nope, there they are right there.
Okay, um, let's use the shop to open up another package. So I think we're good uh, in terms of the storage. There's nothing for us in the oubliette. So we'll start with a crate of supplies. Crack open the container, delight in your discovery. So that's another minute. Um, with the passage towards a fundamental aesthetic, or the house of glass, Julian Cosley considered this his masterwork. This book houses a Newman, a truth so powerful it can perhaps believe itself. Techniques for perception and analysis which permit invidious and apocalyptic conclusions. Probably the most assiduously suppressed book in history. The entire run was destroyed. Even the presses were melted and dispersed, but the manuscript edition has survived. The perfect hegemony of the hours is perhaps eternal, but Cosley proposes and describes confinement inescapable, aesthetic and optical techniques which might contain even an hour, profoundly disrupting the order of the mansus. He presents this as his own work, but there are hints here and there that he received inspiration or even assistance from the nowhere hour named Snow. So uh, we do get the scale off of uh, inescapable confinement, so that's going to be one that I want to pay attention to. Everything ultimately comes down to a choice between eternity and history. There's only one place you're safe from both, and it's not a place anyone would want to be. It's a prison that can only exist in certain histories. So this will probably be used for Reverend Timothy, but this is something that potentially opens up the Cucurbit prisoner records for me. So what we would do is we would take um, the Newman, we would take health, We'd take uh, Hill and Hollow or Inks, or sorry, was it Hill and Hollow? I think it was Coil and Chasm uh, and or Inks of Power. So that's four for a skill. So again, that brings us up to 10. And at that point, I have one of two options. Either I take my chances with the, um, oh, sorry, hang on. Newman's five, health is one, skill is four. So that brings us up to 10. So actually, no, oh, no, no, yeah, we've already got the skill. So uh, what we could probably do is the Yuga link, which I suspect I actually don't have that much of because we've already used it in other places. Um, but we would potentially use the ink rather than the glass. Uh, alternatively, we use the glass and then we take our chances with being able to generate a relevant memory. Again, not something I'll worry about right now, but uh, we should feel a little more secure handling the Cucurbit prisoner records. Although, if I'm going to be taking my chances, I'd prefer the Burning Woman because that will potentially give me access to um, the other Forge stuff that I need. Okay, let's carry on. I'm going to have to find a place for all the flowers in a little bit. Okay, satisfaction. I think I'll leave, uh, presumably I'm also not going to finish reading these texts in time anyway, or uh, like the character will not finish reading these texts in time, but I'll save the readings for what I'm actually working on for a separate broadcast. With Keeper level knock, Glass Finger Toxin is the precursor of the Sacrament Assite. Now, uh, here is what I'm thinking of. I need to restore something in the dispensary, but... I'm thinking what I could potentially do is take that amethyst ampule um, and then again we don't have an element of the soul to work with this right now but I could probably restore the fat and make another one of these in preparation and I kind of like that idea okay fragrant chalice I don't even really know where I'm storing I want to sort of stop having Elopoli's nook be a greenhouse so I'm trying to find another place where I might keep the flowers Right now, I'm just looking for any gaps in terms of my flower storage. I don't have that many. I do like flowers in the cooker bit, though. <laughs> okay, no more shelves there for me to stick them on. I thought there were a couple of shelves in the stairwells. There's definitely one you can put books on. Here we are. Gather the scented blossoms of the fragrant chalice. Okay, 
and Moth Orchid is soft as velvet to the touch, except when it changes. So the Moth Orchid was really more of a backup. It's nice to have, like, basically more ingredients in general are a nice, uh, are a nice thing to have, but the, um, the idea here is just to have a little something that I can chuck into the, the um, glass finger toxin if I need. Oh, one thing I didn't do was check out on Matthias and Amethyst Imago. Uh, we can do that later. That was probably not really going to happen today anyway, just because of all the containers I want to open, but it still probably would have been nice for me to do. All right, something handy. Ocelot oil. Uh, I think we had oil... Scintillate. Oh, there we go. One of each. Cater and Hero's finest scintillate oil. Crack open the container, delight in your discovery. All right, let's keep going. This time we will open up the abandoned luggage, long past the help of any lost and found. Something rare. Crack open the container, delight in your discovery. Better now. All right, so there's the metal. So in theory, both of these should work for leveling up. Um, Both of those should work for leveling up the skills that I wind up getting. Okay, yeah, so we've got Trades Mahira. I, I'll have to make some choices on this because it does also involve me getting the appropriate memories, which might be something that can happen with Trades Mahira, but less likely for Sickle and Eclipse. But again, the point of, the point of, kind, you can kind of, so what I, one of the reasons why I spent all the time like kind of trying to defend the game from the idea that I, I think in the end it's just the the thought that the developers weren't thinking carefully about how the game works to me I think there's actually something really neat about how this uh this game sort of works and I'll close on this so think a little bit about sort of the um the ebb and flow of of how the session has worked here so I had a bunch of things that I wanted to catch up on so I opened up a bunch of containers and I read some books in terms of getting new skills and I have, you know, the the ingredients that I'm getting, so on and so forth. So what am I most likely going to be doing tomorrow now that I've got some of the skills? Well, I'm not going to be spending my elements of the soul um, doing all of those other things like searching around the house. Instead, what I'm going to be doing is sort of focusing on myself and really directing all of my energies towards my studies. And I do tend to find that. Now, again, I play in a pretty idiosyncratic way. I've really not been committing things to the Tree of Wisdoms, which means the number of uh, the number of elements of the soul that I have available to me is quite limited by choice. Um, but to me, I don't really think, if anything, that would make me less likely to appreciate the way that this game works. I actually really do like how it sort of keeps cycling your attention through a bunch of different things that you can do in the game rather than continuing to just focus on the one thing over and over and over again. Um, so it's why, I don't know, I don't, I don't feel a particular need to like, you know, be the great prophet of the, the cycle of events in the game. Obviously people should play it the way that they do, but um, it is one thing that I continue to appreciate about this game, especially because I've tried playing it a few different times uh, now and even though I'm putting some variety in terms of the way that I play, it is still sort of rewarding me in terms of these different approaches. So anyways, we will, I know that in terms of activity, there was a bit less today, but on Wednesday's episode, we will be reading these texts, we'll be leveling up the skills, and then I think we're probably within shooting distance of opening, we should probably have everything above ground opened up. Uh, I might be missing a couple of, um, a couple of uh, containers. But uh, after that, we'll we'll focus on uh, the underground again and level up Reverend Timothy and so on and so forth. But all of that will be happening in future. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you uh, day after tomorrow. Take care.